first thing that we have to try and understand is the properties of the demand function. Now, because we have already kind of tried to understand how do we determine the demand function, and we know that in order to determine the demand function, we have always been talking about utility maximization. And, you know, when we talked about well-defined preferences, where were we maximizing the utility? The utility was getting maximized wherever your MRS was equal to Px by Py. Wherever this thing was happening, that is where your utility was kind of getting maximized. So, you know, if I was talking about my well-defined preferences, then for these well-defined preferences, we knew that, let's say my utility function is u of x, y is equal to x to the power alpha, y to the power beta. So, I knew that my MRS x, y will be given by m u x by m u y. This would be given by alpha, x to the power alpha minus 1, y to the power beta upon beta, x to the power alpha, y to the power beta minus 1. If you solve for this, you will get alpha into y upon beta into this is how we used to define our utility function. Now, you know, if your utility function is defined in this manner, then where do you attain your equilibrium? Equilibrium was attained wherever MRS xy is equal to px by py. So, you know, this would have meant that my alpha y upon beta x is equal to px by py. So, you know, you could have got your y is equal to px by py into beta into x upon alpha. This is the value that you would have got. Now, how do you solve for the final x and y? We know that our budget line is given by x px plus y py is equal to m. So, you know, I can write this as x into px plus instead of y right here, I can go ahead and replace it by this, this value. So, instead of y, I can go ahead and write px by py into beta into x by alpha into py is equal to m. py and py will get cancelled off. So you would be left up with x px plus beta into beta by alpha x px is equal to m. Right. And if you solve for this, you will get x star is equal to m into alpha upon px alpha plus beta. So you can also rewrite this thing like this alpha upon alpha plus beta m by px. This becomes your value of the x star. Is this fine? This is your final demand of x star. Now, you can also put it in y star. So, you know, you know that your y star is equal to px by py beta into x alpha. And once you solve for this, you will get px by py beta by alpha. And instead of, sorry, beta by alpha, and instead of, instead of x, you can put alpha upon alpha plus beta m by px. So, you know, you could have got from here m by py beta upon alpha plus beta. Now, just try and understand this thing. You have already got your 
final demand of x and y you have got what is known as the equilibrium value of x and y 